Hello. We are back with some more Man of Medan. Medan, Medan. I'm, I, I do that every time. Um, start game. Uh, play alone. Is this plug and play? Can you resume a game? I'm curious. Anyways. Alright. I don't know if it's obvious or not, but I am still ill, unfortunately. Um, my voice sounds a little more normal than it did last time, thankfully, so um, hopefully we'll be able to do the full three hours tonight. We'll see how my th throat hole holds up, so. <clears throat> I will try to keep the cold noises to a minimum, if I can. But yeah, all right. Anyways, that out of the way, let's... I believe we were looking for Fliss. We got caught because I reacted too quickly during a quick time event and hit X literally immediately after I saw it, which was not good. And she got... pulled away? Captured? I don't know how you want to word it. What are we doing? I thought we were following them. We gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. And the hair. We got we go. okay. Main deck. Yeah, this looks like where we stopped first. Look at me being all first in crap. How you doing tonight, Slothy? I hope you're well. Um, Fred, stop eating people. <laughs> hey, no one's gotten eaten yet. We had a few deaths in 1947, I believe it was, but so far we're okay. But, oh, okay. What are we looking at? Internal memorandum. God, why do I need to see this now? I don't know why you need to see that, Julia. To all crew, Area 7C has been converted to a temporary chapel of rest for the duration of the voyage. All crew are required to be silent and respectful when passing near Section 7C. Sign Corporal Moore Chaplain. Copy to Quartermaster. I don't know what AMS stands for. Good knowing that I'm getting a pandister. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I've been sick. I know. But at least, yep, you're right. We're here now. Nothing on the back. We're going to explore another haunted ship. Hopefully not die. Ah. <sighs> What? We gotta hurry, guys. And then they slow down and explore. <laughs> what was that? You hear that? What? I don't hear it. Yeah, I, I don't hear anything, Julia. Oh, something's gonna jump scare us. I can feel it. I can feel it in my panda bones. What's going to come out and try to eat my face? Panda! <laughs> hey, Siren, how are you doing? My voice sounds almost normal tonight. Isn't that great? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I am better. Um, definitely better, even than when I was on uh, Sunday. So... We're getting there on the road to recovery. Yay. Yeah, you sound great. Oh, thank you. I know I sound more normal than I ha did last time I streamed, but I can still hear it in my voice. Like, I can still tell my voice. Like, you can still hear that I'm sick. So, you just sound like you're holding your nose a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way of putting it, actually. I hadn't thought of it that way. Probably Bill. Bad demon. No eating people. <laughs> Was that the other one? Bill and Fred? Were those the names that you chose? 
I remember Fred for sure. Kill anyone yet? Not that I'm aware of. Um, Fliss got pulled away by one of the kidnappers because I quick time events too quickly. <laughs> if that makes sense. And the guy that plays Iceman in X-Men, whatever his name is, um, he got on a boat, I assume successfully. He didn't look injured when he scootered away, but I haven't seen him since, so. Slothy, don't lie. The guys at the beginning don't count. The, the, they were gonna die no matter what. That's how you set up the story. <clears throat> All right, let's carry on. is a boat. I can't look over here. All right, fine. Let's go this way. I know a jump scare is coming. Oh, is that a door? Yeah, it was a normal. Yeah, okay. Alex, go. Thank you. Wait a Sometimes the we characters just... Before. We've been here before. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? This doesn't look familiar. Oh, I see a shiny. Ew. Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around the kitchen. Hey, babe. Once we settle down, I will be your personal chef de cuisine. Well, at least Alex is trying to stay optimistic. Uh, what's over here? Ah. Uh. Jesus. God. Alex, what is it? Rat guts. Oh, God. Um, nothing. You don't want to know. What? What does that mean? Why aren't you telling me? Oh, I thought she would just trust me. Or trust Alex, I guess. What, what are the traits? Altruistic, cunning, relaxed, excited, motivated. Oh, okay. Anyways, moving on. Oh, Nate, I haven't seen you in a while. How are you? Um, oh, more dark pictures. <laughs> yep, we're still running around in an old haunted freighter boat thing looking for haunted gold, I guess, which is probably not real gold. I'm good, you. I'm doing well. <clears throat> Thank you for asking. Um, I am not feeling 100%. You can probably hear my voice that I do have a bit of a cold. Hey, but I will try to minimize the secret found. Casserole. Mm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. Oh, okay. It's just the weekly schedule. Maybe this is what they have every week. Of course, there's a lot of crossed out stuff. I don't know. Let's move on. Yeah, it has been a while since I was last since I was here. That's all right. We're here now. It's good to see you. I, yeah, English is still just as bad as it used to be. Uh, that stuff is fresh F. Oh, Fred or Bill did it. It was the rat. <laughs> What's over here? Take a follow. Oh, we got ourselves a weapon. Hey, easy with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. We might need it. I guess you never know. We might have to use it.
Alright. Yeah, I don't think we've been here at all, Julia. I think you've lost your mind. Um, so, Nate, I don't know if you're aware of what this game is like. Um, it's very similar to, uh, to Until Dawn. I'm thinking we gotta go through here. If you are aware of that one. What was that? I keep hearing things. Alright, I'm going to stop playing Outer Worlds just to watch this. <laughs> I appreciate that. Why am I... Oh, just open it. Alright. June 18th. Uh, we haven't been at sea long and I'm sick of the damn food already. That muck we ate tonight was a joke. The cooks do their best with what we got, I'm sure, but man, I'd kill for something fresh. Apparently my cat is hunting something. <laughs> Apologies if you hear something meowing in the back. Um, first thing I'm going, first thing I'm doing when we get home is having me a tall glass of cold milk. June nineteenth. Every one of the U.S. papers was talking about that massacre in Philly. It's crazy to think how we're out here traveling the world, trying to keep our country safe, and there's people killing each other in the streets back home. I sure could use a beer after reading about home, but the captain has issued a ban on booze. Guess I'll be counting sheep tonight. Oh, goody, there's more. Uh, oh, it's... Hi, kitty. That's my cat saying hello. He's usually not this vocal, but yay. It's so weird and disgusting if I'm remembering the right game. Um... Yeah, it has its moments of, of grossness, yeah. <laughs> yep, that's my kitty. Bill, you better shut up and be quiet. <laughs> okay, June 20th. Some of the guys had a little wrestling competition at one of the cargo holds today. I did okay, but Wagner eventually knocked me out of it. I joked he should be disqualified on account of his size, but no dice. It'd take a whole crowd of people to pin him down. He certainly ain't eating the same as the rest of us, that's for sure. Uh, June 21st. I'm sure the cargo we have in the hold has something to do with a, with a squad that went missing. Their leader, Jones, heard a legend about the room full of ancient solid gold statues from a Manchurian child emperor. Don't know if I pronounced that right. They were said to be cursed, but that sounds like a load of baloney. I don't know if they found them, but they never did return from their mission. Maybe they're returning now. I think my cat has officially lost his mind. He's running around. Okay, it's just the four pages. Alright, there we go. Sorry, I'm falling behind. Uh, cats and cute. <laughs> I sat here for 15 minutes not being able to type. That's not normal. Also, hi again. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Second favorite animal right there. <laughs> Slothy, you're awesome with the follows. Uh, well, I have to ask, and I'm assuming it's the counterpart. What's the first favorite animal? I'm guessing it's dog. <clears throat> again, apologies, guys. I do have a cold. Bear with me, please, if I sound weird. Or weirder than usual. This looks really weird. Wait. This isn't right. Well, uh, I have to look at a picture. Uh oh. The cut of your jib. Oh god. All right, so I have to be careful. Apparently Brad is still going around. He got stabbed. I have a knife. Fuck. Oh, Fox. Okay. I already am following you. Since you're less. No, no, no. Slothy. Slothy is following you right now, Athrix. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Uh, so it's close, actually, both canines. Okay. Well, I'd like to think I would be, be able to take the win on that, but... Hi, are you okay, kitty? 
Yeah? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Looks like we're all cut up there. <laughs> okay. All right. Where are you? What are you looking at, Julia? Sorry. What? What? There's something in here with us. Did, didn't you? I mean, did you hear anything? Okay, this is where Brad's gonna come out, maybe? I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. Um, rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. But don't fucking laugh at me! Well, the other one didn't really... You, you were telling her to get a grip. That wasn't... Oh, apparently the bar for Julia went up. All right. All right, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Well, what do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. It all looks the same. How could you possibly know that? I gotta go now, though. I wish I could stay longer maybe next time. All right, Nate. Yeah, we're, we're playing a bit of a more chill game with occasional jump scares that try to make my heart leap out of its chest. Um, hopefully next time you swing around, we'll play something a little more action-oriented. But it's good to see you again. I hope you have a wonderful night. Fred, I told Bill to be quiet. Why won't you? <laughs> What's your cat's name? Uh, his name is Tang. And he's called Tang because he's orange like the drink. You have a good night as well, or day, I don't know. It's night. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Take care. Okay. No, this isn't working for me. What? Well, we haven't been here. Skits and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know. It is crappy. You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. Gotta get out of your toot sweet. Okay. So can we just get the fuck out then? What is this? This is our gold. Oh, I love cats and Tang. <laughs> My cat loves everybody, so. Oh. What? Practically f uh, Yeah. Look at this. It's insane. Love birds. Oh, mean? we must have maxed out our... Was it ever human? What's the Affinity. deal with this place? Okay, leave. Now. Leave, leave, leave! <laughs> she does not want to be here. Hey, we got a name on this guy. Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Okay. What was his name? Will you please hurry? Please. Brian Carter. He was one of the guys from the beginning of the game, was he not? This is where Panda killed two people already. One of them died on his own accord, thank you. And the second one would have died no matter what. <laughs> so there. Tell your cat I will give them free snuggles anytime. <laughs> Did you hear that, Tang? You have somebody online that's willing to give you free snuggles. He's just looking at me. <laughs> Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Small casket. Maybe that's, that's where the gold serious is. Serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Let's find out. Or let's, you know, leave, I guess. That works too. Nothing on the walls. Uh, what's over here? What's the matter? Shh. Oh. Hey, oh, come what on. What is it? <laughs> Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? My cat is never this vocal. I'm sorry. I have no idea why he's so chatty.
All right, so ghosts are playing with our minds? Or I, I guess we know there's some sort of weird curse fumes thing going on. That might be, oh, sick bay. I think this is where Joe, I believe his name was, was at. After he got sucker punched. Roger that. Uh, Bill was the kid in the ox. Oh, in the box. Wonder if he got out. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that was the, the nameplate one. That, that, that was one of the names. Okay. Let's find out. Walks away. Or don't. <laughs> it's kind of annoying, too, because it's like... It's probably a kid. Like... I don't think there'd be a kid in a ship like this. Uh, what's that? This is a military vessel. There's no reason for there to be children on here. Oh. Why so spick and span? Are those heads? What? Fuck! <laughs> hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. No. This is how we get fingers bitten off. We're not touching it. What do you call a skeleton with no friends? Oh. I'm sensing riddles. I love it. What do you call a skeleton with no friends? A pal. <laughs> That's not true. He has frisk. And I would still say that his brother would count as a friend. Oh. That's interesting. And really creepy. Look at that head. And Undyne. Oh, yeah, that's true too, actually. Yeah, Undyne at the end there. What the hell? Looks like he died of fright. You can't see that. Terrified corpse. What kind of a thing is this? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. What do we got? Are we going to see what's your chart? Okay, so this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then... Then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Hashtag nope. Nope. Hashtag nope. <laughs> Thanks, Julia. Your commentary was very useful there. Okay, was there anything else in here? He died and they wanted for him to have a nice funeral. Hashtag nope. <laughs> oh, the medical bay. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting you played this siren. Okay. Wait, did I just... Why, why did it circle around? That's why. Camera angles. So I guess that's it. Okay. Um, oh. Well, that was it? This does not look remotely safe. I agree. Barrels. That's going to be Brad. It would be an amazing coincidence if the guy that got killed by the Wendigo, um, the old guy in the um, Until Dawn, had like a cameo Easter egg appearance or something in this game. What is this portal? <laughs> It'd be a little easier to get off the ship, I'm sure. If that were the case. Why are you faking me? Now, why would I tell you? <sighs> Workshop. Oh, okay. Tell me where we are going, damn it! Is 
She has a bit of an accent, but I can't place it. Not that I'm particularly good with accents anyways. But I am curious. Bill kill them all? <laughs> That's not very nice, Slothy. We're trying to keep as many people alive as we can. Jamaican. Possibly. Maybe it's just not a very strong accent. I see the shiny. Let me interact. Oh. Okay. Hey! Back off! Leave that alone. You don't even know what you're doing. You just do whatever he tells you, don't you? Do I have to jump ahead and try to snag a weapon? Stop. All right. That was weird. Okay, I guess we're going this way. Oh my god, why won't my characters, like, cooperate with me? <laughs> okay, I can't go this way. What's up here? Nothing here, okay. I keep feeling like if I don't go towards the camera, I'm missing something. Fred Plan B. Talking to a hat. <laughs> These fucking places cursed. Wait, is that a hat? I can't tell. Yep. MG Medan. Bearing updated? What? Military bandwidth. Fliss found the captain's hat with the name ending in G and then Medan after it. Speedboat the Benz. Military band. Okay. That's. I, I don't know what any of that is about. So. Hostage and lower. Yes. Yes, exactly. Uh, what was that noise? What are you talking about? I don't want to hear anything from you. Olsen! Toriel, what do you want to eat, my child? Shakara, the souls of the innocent. <laughs> yeah, she's walking around barefoot. Oh, is she? Oh, God, she is, too, I think. It's weird, because they, they obviously let them go get... Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, God. It's it's funny when games trying to get the cheap um, jump scares on. Like... <laughs> Oh, lovely. Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ. That guy. That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, you go stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. So, let's walk past it. Or, let's look at it. Huh. Where did all your friends go? I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now. That was considered a secret screaming corpse, okay. Olsen? Man. Guess what you fed? There's nothing over there. Don't miss the door, please. Um, it's sad to say, but I jumped on that one. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're not expecting it, it can, 
it can it can work. A lot of them are just kind of like, oh, really? <laughs> Sees a dead body. Oh, lovely. <laughs> That's a standard reaction, I think. I see a hand. I don't see a hand. That looked like the child's hand from the beginning of the game. Is that a pick? Yep. How dare you, sir? What are you looking What's for? This is going to be our first victim, isn't it? Feels like a bad idea. Fred is on the move, I repeat. He is on the move. <laughs> um. I want to get the gun, but I feel like leaving is the better option. Oh, oh, go, 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 go. Uh, it's a great day to draw because today is great. Look at here. Surprise. It's gay. <laughs> That's what my friend said this morning. Clearly a morning person. <laughs> is anyone there? Oh. That's creepy. Okay, that one was a better scare. I like that one. That one was good. She reacted a little better than I thought she would. Like, she didn't really, like, freak out. Alright, what is this? Huh. That can't be a good sign. Oh. There we go. Drop down. Thank you. Which one moves fat? L1, it looks like. I see a body. What? What? That one got me, and I saw the eyes first, but I thought it was one of our friends, and I screamed. <laughs> That's what I saw the eyes, too. I saw the eyes before I saw the, uh, the head. But, I mean, even the eyes looked off. Like, you could kind of tell, even at first glance. Okay, Mark, get out of the vents. Like, come on, Mark. <laughs> Uh-oh, we got new people coming into the story. I'm going to regret not hunting for the gun, aren't I? Alright, I see that over there. It is a body, Jesus. okay. What happened down here? So are you. Dog tags. Charles T. Perez. Char oh, Charles and Joe, wasn't it? Was that one? No, but he wasn't wearing a helmet. That couldn't have been him. Okay, I guess the game wants me to go this way, so let's go this way.
All right. Random doors just shutting. Sure, why not? Have you been this whole time? Come on. Come on. All right. All right. All right. All right. Buck up. Buck it up. Buck it up, B boy. All right. Be the B. All right. Be the B. I am so confused as to how he managed to evade getting caught by those guys. Okay, Fliss is in there somewhere. Shit. And of course not. Under the bed the whole time. But he was sleeping. You're telling me his reflexes were that good that he heard, like, did, did, I'll, I'll just leave it alone. Your friends for hide and seek. <laughs> Asloffy, whose side are you on? <laughs> what is this? Guard duty. Strictly no unauthorized entry in the guarded areas. Do not leave post until you are relieved by oncoming watch stander. Alright. <laughs> now, was that one of the ladies on the ship? Or was that one of the horrors on the ship? This can't be good. No, you're on no one's side? He's just commenting as you see it happen, eh? <laughs> Fair enough. Well, you see him awake, and then they took the boat. He's hidden. Okay. I must have missed that part. Or I'm not remembering clearly, because, um... Oh, he's looking out the window, isn't he? That's right. Oh, goody. Misty stairs. Let's climb them. Stop stubbing your toes. <laughs> That's quite a uh, yelp for toe stubs. Door is locked, of course. All right, let's go down here. Wow. Shit on a shamrock. <laughs> I've never heard that term before. U.S. Central Infantry, 10th Division? Oh, 14th, okay. They're huddled. What did they see? Was it the little boy? He was kind of terrifying. Uh, yeah, they pan over to his room, and his brother does the shh, and he laid there. Okay, yeah. I guess, I mean, I know it's been like four days since I last played, but I'm clearly re not remembering everything, so... Sorry, I left for a few seconds. What happened? Um, one of our characters that we haven't seen uh, has returned, and he's trying to help, I guess. And Count stumbled across his first few um, shriveled dead people. So, welcome back. Bill got to the beer again. <laughs> hey, Kuno, how you doing? <clears throat> My voice almost sounds normal. Almost. So, yay! Because <laughs> all this happens in like five minutes. 
Oh, so this is supposed to be shortly after. That would make sense. Gonna kill you. Well, thank you, Athrix. That's very... <laughs> how very optimistic of you. Yeah, they all overlap in time. Oh, hell. Oh, great. Perfect. Wonderful. Please don't get stabbed. No. No. Get on the boat and radio for help. Nope. Nope. Not doing it. Oh, this looks like a bad idea, too. Let's just go here. Uh, I am positive you're going to kill him. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Amazing. I'm super excited right now. I picked out who I'm going to be commissioning for my fursuit. I didn't even know you were looking for a fursuit. <laughs> so that's not a realm that I'm um, familiar with, so bear with me. I just got to wait a couple years. What? <laughs> Are, are you actually being serious? If you are, why would it take a couple years? I don't understand. Have to have someone seek? And you're it. No, you don't need to. That's okay. I, I'm guessing that the suit will be a hyena? <laughs> Based on your name. Or... Uh, I don't think a fish would work, would it? I don't know. What am I hearing? They're close. They're close. I gotta save money, plus I wanna wait till I move out of my parents' house so I don't get disowned. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a hiding. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> Sorry, like I said, this is not a world I'm familiar with, so um, thank you for <laughs> kind of making it help me connect the dots there. Um, no, that makes sense. So, so it's not necessarily a couple years because it'll take them that long to design um, such a suit. It's just because of all the steps you have to take beforehand. Defend our future. Oh my god. This is completely because I've been brainwashed. I am already aware of this, but this poster completely reminds me of Fallout. I know that these were standard posters that were, like, posted during the war and whatnot, but my exposure to this type of propaganda is only because of Fallout. So every time I see something like that, that's why. And yes, I am aware of how lame that is. <laughs> <laughs> Rejected. Oh, equipment re requisition form. Quantity description. One respirator, one filter. Budgeted expenditure. Yes. Proposed by Private Gordon Young. Excuse me. Rejected. If rejected, reason for rejection. Private Young already has a gas mask signed out. No? Well, fair enough. So Fred, so is Fred or Bill, I lost track. <laughs> right, most first suits take like six to eight months to finish. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Reminds me of Wolfenstein, to be honest. Oh, well, I mean, it's got the same kind of, yeah. I never really played, I played one Wolfenstein game for the PC. I think it was the first one. And, you know, I enjoyed it. It is what it is, right? And I never really got into the games after that. So, not the new ones either by Bethesda. Which, from what I hear about Youngblood, is probably a good thing. Uh, and I can't rent out Fallout 76 at my library. And I can rent out for free. Oh, not yet. Yeah, libraries are kind of awesome like that, eh? 
I, my local one has a lot of movies and games and such too. Um, documentaries. The, the the selection is actually quite surprising. Mustard gas. This looks... Smells like garlic, mustard, horseradish. Good to know. What, what, wait, what did that one say? This looks... Lewis site? Smells like geraniums. And I can't read the far one. Ah, oh well. Love when you it say A. <laughs> Is it because it makes me sound more Canadian? <laughs> if I jump up there, I'm going to get... No. He's going to get a heart attack, and we're going to get a jump scare, and no. Wait, why am I doing this? Oh, I'm trying to get up here? Something to help me get up there. Alright. This doesn't seem like a bad idea at all. Yes, do it. <laughs> Sorry, Cassie, one sec. There we go. Sorry. I will have to mute my mic on occasion as I clear my throat. I doubt any of you want to hear that. So, okay. <laughs> How do you know that command exists? <laughs> uh, I play most of them, but I haven't even touched Young Blood. I saw one video of it, and I know that. <laughs> was it the microtransactions, or was it the sibling interactions, or was it the horrendous gameplay loop, which I haven't, I haven't seen a lot of, but I've heard horror stories about. Oh my God, you have a kid in a cat. <laughs> Yep, we have a, a Canada. <laughs> what was it? A Canada Canadian stereotype count. So, oh my God, I saw Skip use it when you were playing Outer Worlds. Oh, okay, yeah. He likes to throw it out there whenever he gets the chance. It was more so the '80s theme mixed with all that. Oh, really? Uh, oh, I didn't even catch that slothy Outer Words. I like that. Um. The 80s theme. I don't know. I, I didn't mind the more futuristic version of the alternate timeline. I didn't have a problem with that. Like, when I first heard the pitch, like, when they were starting to tease the game, that actually intrigued me more. Because their father was missing. These two sisters have been trained from, essentially, birth, from what I understand, to, to be, like, weapons against... The regime, almost. Um, it, I, it, it was just a very compelling way to set it up. And then one of the sisters spoke, and I realized I was never going to touch that game. So, <laughs> I like the 60s aspect of the originals. Which I was less familiar with. So, I, th I didn't know it was the 60s. I thought it was closer to around World War II time. So, well, there you go. Learning something new. Uh, this way. Okay. All right. Let's get up. Come on, Brad. Uh, let's go this way. Do a full 360, and I realize that the game won't let us go that way. Julia, hello. What part of the ship are you in? Oh, picture time. What vision are we getting? Premonition unlocked. Yay! Copper bottomed. I mean, the helicopter being here is kind of a good um, 
premonition, but the name didn't really sound that great. Now it skips from the 46, I think, to 63 or something in the New Order. Uh, then the New Colossus picks up right after that one. Oh, okay. I, I knew that you played as what would be the sister's father. I can't recall his name at the moment. Um, and apparently he's like a pretty badass character. But um, then he's missing for Youngblood, and that's why you're supposed to be playing as the kids. Like I said, it was good in theory. It was just really, really poorly executed. Which is unfortunate. Oh. I thought we were character swapping, but I guess not. I have no clue of what you're talking about, you know. Uh, he's talking about the more recent games in the Wolfenstein series, yeah. And his name is Billy Joseph Blaskowitz. I'll just stick with Billy. <laughs> but thank you. Who's that? Who's there? Get away! Did I pronounce his name right? I feel bad when I try to pronounce it and I'm, like, way off. So, even if it's not a real, like, person. Sorry. Okay. Sorry about that. Coughing fits are fun. Uh, yeah. Oh, I did pronounce that right. Awesome. I don't know, it's something that I would like to try someday, eventually, but I'm not in a hurry to play, so. No, no, I'm not hearing this. I'm not hearing this. <laughs> oh, God, he's going to psych himself out. Um, actually, I've been told by more people to give Doom a try. Um, I'm not dropping down yet. I think it's a good thing Skeletons. I didn't. Skeletons? Skeletons? Well, I mean, this is odd. Where's the skin, guys? Where'd all the skin go? Some oh. Sort of altercation. Internal memorandum. Uh, to First Officer Fisher. Sir, you asked to be kept informed of the radio situation. We attempted outgoing messages of the following times with no response. And then from uh, 01, 10 hours, every 10 minutes after that. We were able to pick up indirect messaging traffic until 0140 hours. However, there has been no further incoming messages um, track at all since that time. It is possible that our radio equipment is faulty. I am, I am investigation and expect to be able to report back to you by 0300 hours. Private Cooper. Interesting. Uh, LSR says I have uh, mental problems for following people. Um, I don't know how to respond to that, Slothy. Um, I don't think following people is proof that anyone has mental problems. And I mean, you're still awesome even if you did have mental issues. Like, who cares? <laughs> follow whoever you want to follow. <laughs> <laughs> no one should judge you. Um, so what kind of boat is this? I have no idea. Um, I think it's an old freighter. But um, it is a military boat. <clears throat> As you can probably tell by the, the note there. Um, there were some military jeeps in the center of one of the sections. Sorry, I had to cough again. Um... And it's huge. I don't know. I'm guessing there's enough space on top for planes to land because we did get a premonition with a, of a helicopter landing. So maybe planes took off from here at one point. I have no idea. I mean, you're just a nice person. Military, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Siren's got it right, Slothy. 
Sorry, I still got that tickle. I, I am so sorry, guys. Give me a sec. Okay, there we go. Must might be an LST or something. I don't know what that is, but at some point they'll probably show um, the outside. Mm, hopefully, you can catch a glimpse of it then. What is this? Oh, it's a branch. Are you going to take it? Okay, something important happened there. You're not supposed to be out here. I'm not supposed to see this. That is very true. Actually, you know what? I've got the heat on. Maybe that's drying up my throat. Sorry. Hold on one sec. There we go. The heat is uh, off now. Hopefully that will improve the condition of my throat hole. We shall see. When I follow someone in his stream, he said, oh, don't worry, Slothy has mental problems. Yeah, that's just his sense of humor. He'll say stuff like that all the time. I wouldn't take it to heart. <clears throat> that's just the way he is. Big landing ship we use during D-Day. Oh, all right, fair enough. <laughs> Sounds like that could be it. And then that's the front. Okay, so I guess we have to jump down now. Or something like that. Yeah, no, like I said, I wouldn't take it too seriously. Alex? Julia? Oh, fuck no. Brad, what just happened? Occasionally the game will kind of like skip. Like frame skip. And it gets jittery during the like stronger action sequences. It's kind of weird. Okay, so we're back to her now. Fliss didn't find anything of use in the cargo hold. That's kind of terrifying. Okay. Elstar <clears throat> hates me. Um, no, nah, I, I wouldn't necessarily think that. Well, this is present day, but the boat is older. <clears throat> yeah, this boat is supposed to be from... <sighs> Siren, you can correct me if I'm wrong here. I believe the prologue took place sometime in 1947. So I don't know how, obviously, how long the boat had been used for up until that point. Um... But well, that's two years after World War II, right? So. And then present day in this game is. Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> Why is Brad. What? Nothing this way. 1947. Yeah, okay. Was it 2019? Okay. Apologies, I thought it was 2017. I mean, that fits. We use the LSTs all the time through Vietnam. Uh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, sorry. Thank you, Siren. It's, it's been a few days. Like I said. 
I, I should remember dates, but I don't. <laughs> so, is that a bullet? All right, interesting. Nothing else of note there. The letter on her boat said 29. Yeah, <clears throat> now you're okay. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> I know that it's like... Oh, oh, that's freaky. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I have no weapons. What just happened? This looks different. Oh, we are getting times. 2.48 a.m. Whoa. Why is this so pristine? We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, he's not okay. He's great. <laughs> you killed Brad. I did not get him killed. He was fine when I last left him. <clears throat> what? <laughs> To, to Brad being a zombie or to the nice looking part of the boat that's haunted. Why is there a ballroom on the military transport ship? Hopefully we find out. No, that's not what I wanted you to do there, Fliss. There we go. This place is not right. What is going on here? Well, all right, fine. Let's see what this is. Awesome. Demon summoning. Fountains of blood. Yep, that, that seems right too. So far, nothing out of the ordinary here, guys. Uh, I mean, obviously the game wants us to go through the open door, but let's take a minute and look around. Yes, please grab the book. Thank you. When you finish, I will tell you my one question I had with the game that wasn't answered. Well, I mean, as you are here, um, maybe you'll catch something that you might have missed during your playthrough. That'll help answer that question. But okay. I'll try not to, I'll try to remember to ask you what, uh, what confounded you. Fred and Bill right there. <laughs> I mean, I have both of those right in my background. <laughs> I know, right? Like, those are so standard. Lovely accessories to decorate your home with, even. Oh. All the reading. All right. Cabal should silently assemble, and no more or fewer than five true individuals of sound-minded spirit. It should number three female and two male, firstborn, faces obscured with hood. <clears throat> All right, so we got two female and two male on the boat that we're controlling. So, curious. Sigils. Know it is important to the sorcerer and the spiritual well-being. Flock that before the festival of, oh my God. All right, here we go. Akramahamari. Yeah, I butchered that. Uh, can dot 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 ritual of Threskia is performed to went away demons by means of cabal. The pentacle pentang the pentangle pentang <laughs> shall be drawn out, uh, and each member shall stand at each of the five primary points. A lady born of the sea shall be rendered unconscious and placed at the center of the penta pentangle. Why am I not able to pronounce that word? Um, 
It is from there that the assembled should recite the incantation of Soros, Soros, Soros. Guys, I'm second guessing every word. Sword in hand with all exaltation possible as is written. We five stand at the furthermost point. We are yet close enough to touch. Pentagram. Yay! The five star dot 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 great power turning 90 degrees to your dot 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 to describe the unicursal dot 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 out the pentacle is faith so sword forward and using rents turn degrees to describe the occavernal sigil constitutes the with reverence turn to face north with exultation exclaim i'm guessing all the blood stains are what's making that hard to read oh is there more guys there's more that sounded really whiny. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Those are the things that killed and now hunt the ship in the bo boxes at the beginning of the game. Probably. The sword forward and with exultation exclaim, the pentacle is sacrificed. Page 34. Each member takes a step inwards and then is still in the stance of pentagram. Recite in unison, we are one, and so is our Lord. Osaurus, with the sacrifice, we ask you to cleanse our aura. Turn us of the demons that plague us. We spill the life of man in your honor that we may ourselves worthy of your trust. Only when the incantation is complete should the five converge upon the drawn. Uh, each member should in turn to rid the unfortunate body of its unclean blood. Skull, dagger, blood, and tree. The body should be transferred to a casket of thick wood with head accessible by your flock at any time as a reminder of the evil that can infect the unwary and the power of Soros to keep all safe. And so the ritual and no longer should spirits the festival may. I'm guessing that's it. Looks that way. Skull digger blood tree. Yeah, that's on the pages. Okay. No, Slothy. <laughs> Good try. Okay. Let's carry on. Now that we learn how to, you know, do incantations and summon demons. I wonder if that's what the blood fountain is. Oh. I almost missed that. Missed that. What are you? Oh, it's a pleasant picture. And that's it. Something's going to be behind the door, isn't it? No? Oh. Okay. All right. I feel like there's more to this one, but let's carry on. I would want to know what this is all about. I try Just keep your head on straight. Oh. All right, let's get our premonition on. Water and Julia shouting something. What just happened? Kuno, what are you doing? <laughs> no. No. Oh, that's cool.
All right, that that was a great effect. I like that one. Nothing cool story, Bob. <laughs> Guys are starting starting to come out in a fuller force here. I don't like it. Uh oh. She does not look happy. Oh, we're her. I figured we were going to be Alex. All right. <laughs> I like that sloppy. <laughs> oh, you put up the Bob emote. I was reading it off of the uh, the PlayStation chat. <laughs> so apparently the Bob emote is called Cool Story Bob. All right. Good to know. In salt water, looks around with eyes wide open. Yeah, that seems normal. <laughs> What gets me is that it says for current objective to explore the plane wreck. So apparently we've dropped out of a boat and into a plane. Um, why did it X me? Well, we know that's not true. Why would you put it back? It's on his head. Ow. Uh? Is he drowning himself? So that's the premonition we saw. Come on. There's the knife. Guys, what is going on right now? <laughs> Is everybody tripping balls right now? What the heck is going on? Okay, before we get into whoever this is, let me catch up real quick. Um, help alive. If it, is it mimicking the plane crash you explored earlier? Um, that's kind of what it looked like, yeah. I mean, I mean, she was clearly disoriented in like a dream phase or something. Um, but that's what it looked like. The gas drugged them. It certainly looks that way. This game is based off a legend. Yeah, I kind of figured. Off the gold, right? 
uh, the the Kid Emperor. I forget what I read. Uh, thank you, Stream Elements, for chiming in there. I'm sure more will be revealed as we continue on. The ship was a real ship. Oh. I was not aware of that. So this is loosely based off of a real story then? Or a legend, I guess? Oh, this we're still doing this part, okay. Come on! Come on, Alex. Okay, he's literally walking casually and you guys are running. You should be more than far enough ahead. What's the matter, Tree Bone? Don't shut up me anymore. Weirdly demonic. As long as you're quick. Oh, he's walking away on barefoot too. Uh, jump! Shit. Keep going. Oh, now he's running. I think. Hey, there we go. Why? Oh my god, oh my god. Maybe he's gone? <laughs> that was an interesting scream. Oh, oh, Blitz. Oh, Reunited. Yeah, it's me. Come on, let's go. Jesus! We got it somewhere safe. Um, um, what now? Okay, there, you saw the boat there, right? It did a faraway shot. Okay, this feels wrong. We good here? I think, yeah, I think we'll be all right here. Okay, let me catch up real quick. Uh, <laughs> that is a very important life tip, Kuno. Never sleep on your face, kinda, yeah, okay. Interesting, I mean, obviously games, any media that takes inspiration from a story. Sorry, one sec. Sorry, thought I was going to sneeze. Didn't. Being six is a drag, guy. It is really a drag. Anyways, um, any kind of media that takes uh, inspiration from, like, a story, legend, or whatever, there's always going to be exaggeration or flexibility with what's there, that sort of thing. So, well, I failed that one life tip. Oh, we have four life tips, Lothy. The other commands are don't two, don't three, and don't four, if you want to check them out. Um, most of which are inspired by uh, Skip, actually. Got to put distance between them for that one poorly placed locked door. <laughs> All right, let me Google some stuff, BRB. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, <laughs> we're caught up. I mean, how else do you make it exciting if you don't embellish a little, right? Something doesn't add up here. Oh, this guy. Oh, hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Mm-hmm. Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? 
how to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways. You will, I hope, although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Yeah, I noticed. Let me help you out, give you a little hint. I'm saving these people. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. Perhaps you've started to realize something. Chemical warfare? That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. We haven't had any tragedy yet, so what's this guy talking about? Is he talking about the one bad guy that might have gotten eaten? Um... <clears throat> Where are we at here? Okay. What? I don't know, sorry. <laughs> don't piss off people who make your food. Too late. <laughs> oh for two, huh, Slothy? <laughs> What's your question or statement? I don't remember. I, ha I have the memory of a flea right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, if it's not an LST and it's not a Liberty class freighter, freighter I don't know. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> it's it's probably the same type of class of of ship, though. Like, even if it's not ones that you recognize, maybe it's supposed to be a variant, or maybe it's just a ship they specifically designed for the game that takes inspiration from pre-existing ones. I I don't know. Um, stream elements shimming in again. Wow, Slothy, you got almost twenty five hundred cookies. Kuno, you must have been gambling yep okay yep there we go you said something that didn't make sense yeah that happens a lot siren welcome to my streams <laughs> oh slothy you're sharing your cookies that's awesome you're so nice what what did i say siren maybe that'll help refresh my memory and probably just made a generic cargo ship and called it a world war ii era ship yeah it's possible I mean, this is a story. It seems to be mostly storage, but Dutch freighter. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, one second. Is okay. I'm starting to think that streaming tonight might have been a bad idea because I keep having to mute myself, but we're pressing on because I'm persistent like that. They were coming from China. Yes, that is true. I remember the, the Chinese wooden man that kept punching me in the face. Um, and the fortune teller that freaked out Joe. <laughs> oh, the gambling has begun. Okay. Let's carry on. What the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some, like, like evil like literal evil going on down there let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this okay the stuff i saw it's like there were these old soldiers and they were bodies they were dead but then they came alive and that doesn't sound that crazy right about now alex wasn't the only alex what are you talking about there were things walking around with his face on them alex's face it it was horrifying Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know. It's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe, like, one thing could. But not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's got to be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Where's the gold? Did you see the gold? Anything? 
might be time to accept there's no gold here. Would have seen it by now. Um. Where the crew? What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? You can smell death everywhere. It's like a tomb. So where did all the corpses come from? Apparently, getting scared to death is an actual thing, because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. A lot of them look that way. This place is weird. <laughs> Hello, Happy Panda. Who said that? Skip! Hello! How are you doing? Sorry, as I look over onto my device to see the chat, all I see is uh, Slothy telling off the bot. <laughs> Uh, you didn't really say anything that you just said that something didn't seem right. I'll probably go back and rewatch the stream, and I'll probably have no idea what I was trying to say. So I think that's a lost cause at this point, Siren. Although, thank you for trying to figure out what I was trying to say. <laughs> um, and that's why you went, okay. <laughs> Kuno, that's awesome. You guys are awesome. You're so generous to one another. Uh, hello, Skip, again. Uh, I'm going to just finish Witcher. Nice! Yeah, uh, yep, yep, Siren agrees. And, what did you think? Meanwhile, let's make the obvious statement ever. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. <laughs> it's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. Bad feeling machine? Uh, what happened on this ship? Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? Like, ghost ships are real and this is one and we're totally on it and no, oh, holy shit, we're so totally fucked? I guess that's one way to look at it. <laughs> I read a letter. I, I found it before. It said the guards here were scared of ghosts. We found a note that said a bunch of guys tried to get out of guard duty because they were really freaked out by something. We know more than we did before. That's something, at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. We established that. and use it. That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. Okay, why? Is there no means for them to lower themselves back onto the Duke? I don't understand. Uh, it was good. Have yet to see it. The husband has. Siren, if you're a Witcher fan, definitely watch the show. Um, there, there's a little bit of some of adjustment after about four episodes. Something kind of happens um, regarding like the timeline of things, but it's not hard to figure out. And once you adjust, it's okay. That's all I'll say. <clears throat> That's why we aren't letting him go to TwitchCon. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Sobek. <laughs> The transition cap, uh, whoa, whoa. The transition cap is missing. The dude took it. The transition cap? Oh, the distribution, the distributor cap you're talking about. Okay. He took it? Yeah, but he placed it on, like, a cargo. Um, okay. He placed it somewhere, so they should be able to find it and grab it. Because they actually saw him place it there. But that doesn't prevent the radio from working. It just prevents the boat from moving. So you figure that it would still be easier. Like Brad, before he jumped into the ship, why didn't he use the radio? I can't wait to ship my pants when I see a dragon in VR Skyrim. Oh, right. I forgot you were playing VR. Still enjoying it, I hope. All right, well, this ship isn't American then. Those were 88 millimeter flak guns. Interesting. Well, they can't be... Maybe they're Chinese? I don't know. We're about to explore some more ships, so we'll see what else we can see. 
Uh, I've never played or read the books. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm sorry, Siren. I've, I don't know what you're agreeing with because I've said many things. Um, but yeah, definitely. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Uh, definitely watch the show. At least watch the first couple of episodes. Um, you'll know pretty quick if it's right for you or not. There's a weird time gap between certain scenes that isn't immediate and apparent. Yeah, exactly. Next season, they said they will be much more linear, though. Yeah, well, yeah. The, the, the staggered timelines have all converged in the last episode, so there's no reason to, to do that again. So it should be pretty linear from here on out. Yeah, it's fun. Go to go to bed. <laughs> all right, Slothy. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you have a wonderful evening, Witcher. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's explore this crazy freaking boat. Okay, can we talk to you? You're just going to... No? No? All right, fine. You stay there, then. We got to get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're... Uh, speaking clinically... Totally effed. Way to stay pot. What did I just see there? Oh, it's nothing important. Okay. Um, way to stay positive there, Brad. That's 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 what we need. Total positivity. All right. What kind of shell is I know this? It sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. That doesn't sound crazy at all, actually. That's kind of what the game's been implying for a while. <laughs> I was told since I'm a book reader, I should read the book books before the show. I always disagree with that statement. If you know that you're going to read the books at some point, meh, books. <laughs> um, I always say re, uh, watch the show before the books. Um, nine times out of ten, you're going to prefer the books to the, the show. Um, and chances are they're going to leave out some stuff in the adapt adaptation of the books that will make you... And that's why you might not necessarily like it. I always prefer to... You should just play the games. I mean, the games are pretty good, too. I've only played three, but... Or at least what's your three... <laughs> It looked like a 0.5 cal shell. Yeah, that's what I was wondering myself. It was a fairly large shell, so. Since you like Odyssey and Origins and Skyrim, uh, you will like the game. Yeah, I imagine that you'll like them too, to be honest. Or you'll like it, I should say. What's your three? Yeah, one of my followers gifted me the games for Christmas. All three? Wow. That's awesome. That means I can actually watch somebody play one and two and I can vicariously enjoy it. Yep, sale. Nice. Definitely let us know. And by us, I mean me. <laughs> um, when you plan on doing the first Witcher. I will be all up in that. That sounded really bad, but you know what I mean. Ah, it's a holy Great. boat. Could use these if they weren't Swiss cheesed. That's unfortunate. Yeah, but it will be a bit. When I stream, I got a lot of games ahead of it. Yeah, I I figured. <laughs> I'm guessing Spider Man is one of them. But it's on the list to play on stream. Awesome. Yes. And. and even with the DLC, it's not that long of a game. Like, that was the very first game I ever streamed when I started streaming. And I was done the main story and the DLCs, I believe, in four streams. Which is, for me, it would have been about 12 hours. So. I mean, you can extend that a lot. There's a lot of extra stuff to do. Definitely. Definitely. But if you're just story focused, um, it's actually a relatively short game. Still definitely worth the value though. Like I, I am not saying that as a fault. 
Uh, I'm just letting you know that it's a it's a it's a shorter game. Find a way up. Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. That's that's good. You you do that. I'm gonna look at this box because it's shining. Um. I'll buy a PS5 if my Twitch streaming eventually ends up paying for it. I need that juicy Spider-Man 2. <laughs> Which you know is coming. You know it's coming. So maybe two for me, depending on what I stream. What game? Oh, I was talking about Spider-Man. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I got another software on my laptop, so I might try streaming some War Thunder tomorrow night. Nice. I've heard you talk about that game for... Well, okay, I haven't heard you talk about it a lot, to be honest, but a long time ago you mentioned it. It's great that I'll finally be able to see you show it off in action. Um, yeah, I'll try to keep my eyes peeled for that. Okay, cool. I thought you were talking about Witcher, but yes, I was told Spider-Man was short. No, Witcher's not short. <laughs> um, with DLCs, the two main DLCs, The Witcher took me a month and a half, which, if I remember the count correctly, was about 20 streams, something like that, which would be the equivalent of about 60 hours for me, give or take, obviously, because the times fluctuate, but still. That one's not short, no. <laughs> Just making sure. To, yeah. <laughs> Witcher is not short. It's like the biggest, blackest... <laughs> Why you gotta do that to me? <laughs> oh god. Okay, I wouldn't go that far though. It is a fairly lengthy game. Uh, there is a lot of side stuff to do in that game too. That I yeah, that's that's the other thing too. It was about sixty hours on average, but there is so much side content that I didn't engage in. I think I did like a total of two side quests. So if you're a little more of an explorer, like if you get distracted, let's say, like um, you'll get a side quest, so you'll be like, yeah, let's jump into that. There is that it'll easily take you far beyond how long it took me. <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> Quite girthy, yes. Yeah, we, we got that. Thanks for the visual there, Skip. <laughs> All right, let's see the body come out. Yeah. I literally didn't know that was gonna happen. I just hadn't seen a body in a while and figured that was gonna be next. Gas mask instructions. Always ensure your mask is fitted before assisting anyone else with theirs. If you detect gas or hear the gas alarm, one, do not panic, remain calm and clearly show gas, gas, gas to warn anyone in the vicinity. Hold your breath. Attach the gas mask carrier by placing the bag under your left arm. Pull the shoulder sling over your right shoulder and hook it onto the bag. It's lots of instructions. I don't need to read them all. Huh. Must have been moving some pretty dangerous cargo. Gas mask will only be issued in the event of a gas leak. All right, well. I'm pretty sure this stream is not going to be unleashing chemical warfare, so none of you have to worry about getting gas masks. We're, we're fine. I can always do the side quests off stream or during just quiet stream nights. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely, for sure. Um, and honestly, the few that I did, there actually is a story to them. Like, in Skyrim, when you do a side quest... It feels like a slightly beefier version of a Radiant quest. So that's not saying much. Um, when you do a side, at least a few side quests that I did in The Witcher 3, and I hear they're all like this, really. Um, there's like actual like content. There's a story, there's characters, you're doing stuff. Um, there's different outcomes based on your choices throughout the side quest. It's its own little mini main quest in, in a way. It's, 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 it's kind of cool. Okay, Panda, I gotta head to bed. Busy day tomorrow. All right, Siren. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Sleep easy. Uh, I'd say there was a gas leak then uh, since he was wearing one. 
<laughs> he could have just panicked and threw one on. You'll notice that everyone else that died didn't have one on. And he just, it looked like the same thing that ha happened to him as to what happened to everyone else. Uh, have a good night. Thank you. Have fun, Panda. I hope you finish it soon. I hope so, too. <laughs> With everyone alive. <laughs> All right. Take care. All right. Let's, let's move away from the shriveled up body. Hey, Julia. I still can't talk to you? All right, fine. Screw it. Oh. Something shiny over here. Hey. A little help over here. What's your plan? Oh, stairs. Yeah, okay. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. I'll pull you up. Oh, they did pull everyone up. Okay. Okay, we're calling controlling Alex now. You figure that there would be some sort of interaction between Alex and Brad here, considering Brad was MIA for like the first quarter of the game. Well, okay, not the, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but you know what I mean, since uh, the hostage taking, kidnapping, whatever. All right, I guess we'll just follow the ladies this way. Skip, did you say, sorry, you, did you play it or do you know that it's as girthy as it is based on what you heard? I honestly can't remember if I knew you when I was playing through it. Now that I think about it. Over here. Got a way through here. Oh, okay. Oh, we're doing this. Let's not go through the obviously open door. Let's go this way. <laughs> well, that was short lived. All right, fine. Thought maybe we could at least peek over. This. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? <laughs> That's what Slothy was saying earlier. Actual route. Planned route. Interesting. Come on, Alex. There you go. <clears throat> Notes. United States Department of the Navy? That's uh, what it looks like. Ship was blown off course. Cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. 
22nd of June. Heavy storm blown off course. Reported um, report of hold to flooded. Excessive lightning strikes. The drift in shallow waters. Location unknown. Seabed depth believed uncharted. Unable to establish depth. Search for crew member overboard commenced. Search called off. It literally took them eight minutes. Heavy cloud cover as yet unable to establish location. Hmm. All right, what's in here? Oh, I see radio gizmos. Yeah, that's gross. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Mayday call broadcast. Radio contact intermittent. Attempted Morse SOS. Mini crew dead. Mm, sounds pretty desperate. I die. <laughs> All right. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Look, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Why are you speaking like you're the authority? Ah, it's working. All right, let's see what else we can get. It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Uh, Over. Holy shit, we got him. Uh. Um, can we give them our coordinates? If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees, 30 minutes south, 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. Please repeat. Please repeat. Over. <laughs> Anxious and panic. Freighter, abandoned, huge and old. Hello. Hello, is anyone out there? Please come in. And there it goes. Hey, come here, look. What are we looking at? This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the picture's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So what do you think? Uh, I got this. I got, I got this. I'm not losing you to this fucking ship. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julian, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guy. I can handle this, trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. All right. You and me, Julia. Well, that sucks. <laughs>
splash one the fuck bro you're trying to say you're in a dog fight right now <laughs> give them all the coordinates i tried didn't take or maybe it did broken bones everything still work you gonna go right down there i'm okay you see anything we're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. O okay, we'll wait here by the radio. Here. <laughs> I love how casually he just tossed it over. What is it? I didn't see what he threw down. It looked like a hey. matchbox or something. Oh, it's lighter, okay. Are you liking this game? I'm enjoying it. After you. Definitely has its moments. Um, if I had to choose, though, I think that I prefer Until Dawn, though. Uh, yeah, if yeah, if I had to choose, it would probably be like I do like them both, but I would have to say at least so far, um, I would still prefer Until Dawn. Uh, there was a lot of uh, spooky elements. There were some twists. It was, I I don't know. I'm kind of biased. I'm not a big fan of like ship horror, <laughs> so. Uh, all right, I think I'm gonna sleep now. Good night. See you later, Kuno. Thank you for hanging out tonight. I appreciate you being here. Um, hope to see you again soon. Um, please let us know for sure if you do intend on streaming some War Thunder tomorrow night because I would like to check that out, seriously. So, yeah, till then. Have a good night. All right. So yeah, so yeah, that's that's me being brutally honest. <laughs> if we ever get out of here, we're gonna get out of here, Julia. I hope you're right. Am I ever wrong? What are we? Medical officers report. Minutes of meeting between scientists X is that. That's actually what it says. Okay. Um, CWO Walter Bishop. Why does that name sound familiar, Walter Bishop? Huh. Uh, and CWO Tom Palmer with Sergeant Peter Wood observing an N. X for meeting with our team and says we can mutually learn. For the same thing, the Western world must be protected from. The United States has been aware of certain agencies investigating the chemical and biological agents of warfare. I knew it. Our act, uh, limited by the Geneva Protocol, have experiments we are unable to. For a dollar, he told me... Sorry, I'm reading the trophy name there. It's too long, though. I don't know the whole title. Anyway, sorry. Uh, describes an investigation during to test the effects on human subjects of the molecule crystal structure hallucinogens codenamed Manchurian Gold. Chemical munitions battle so that's why that name came up okay it was even relatively minor observed to trigger significant hallucinations um men highly convincing subjects seeing and hearing things that really were not there even the dangers the danger was manifold and in its intensity so basically this was so this storyline kind of reminds me of fallout 3 because apparently everything reminds me of fallout now um in fallout 3 there was a vault where they would release i think it might have been the music one whatever vault number what that one was where they would release like a a static white noise that was just barely audible and it was suggestive and it would make people hallucinate and lose their minds and go crazy 
That's kind of what reminds me of this, only this is more chemical in nature. I should be able to so long as my PC cooperates. I'll try lowering the graphics and everything. Awesome. I can't wait. The brown noise is more... <laughs> it wasn't the brown noise, Skip. <laughs> or if it was the brown noise, I never made mention of it and fall out. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Faint and this Charlie went to the brig. John Coleman Ferris? Uh, oh, okay. Charles Anderson is the private. In that private, Charles Anderson, on leave from duty, did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl and steps were taken to assure that both men were returned to the ship. 10 day sentence. Must have been a big fight. Break 10 days approved. This is one of those weird statements I'm gonna make, but the word brig never seemed like it would be a bad, like when you hear you're going to the brig, it doesn't sound like it would be an unpleasant experience, you know? I thought for sure there'd be something in here. That's unfortunate. Mythbusters deem the brown noise not really real, sadly. Yeah, I can't say that surprises me. Did I breathe that? I don't think I did. Mm -mm, excuse me. Break week 27, Monday. Arthur Miller, private petty theft. One day, break small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker. Items recovered and returned to owner. Wednesday did... Okay, this is all... Charles Anderson, private, public intoxication, brawling 10 days. Joe was in the sick bay. Drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Joseph Roberts, private, public intoxication, brawling 10 days, break, found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while they on shore leave. Signed to sick bay for medical treatment prior to internment. That's because he got sucker punched by his uh, CO. <laughs> it was kind of funny, actually. Okay, I think this is where we have to go. Did you ever watch the South Park episode that dealt with the, the brown noise, Skip? First aid. Hey, it's this kid. Might have been the son of someone on board. The pops come back soon. It's Joe's kid. I believe so. That was funny. <laughs> One of the few episodes I remember. Okay, private name, John Patterson, prank, prank privates, born in Texas, state, date of birth, I guess, uh, February 24th, 1922, enlisted or appointed, Garland, Texas, current date is March 2nd, 1941, total service in the Army for three years, almost three and a half, history of case, diagnosis, mild neurosis, disability, is not the result of his own misconduct, it was incurred in the line of dute. Existed prior to enlistment, no. Present condition, fit for service. Probable future duration, temporary recommendation that he be closely monitored and referred back for medical checking in one week. Facts are as follows. I saw Private Patterson today who attended sick bay. During that visit, I observed signs of severe distress consistent with evidence of panic I observed in the same soldier during his watch duty earlier this week. <clears throat> I requested Patterson see me today as I believe his panic to be accompanied by vivid and disturbing memories. In the past, he has managed to continue his duties as symptoms appear to alleviate after his guard shift. He claims these symptoms are very unusual for him. 
Uh, Private Patterson is a fit and healthy young man of 25 years with no known medical conditions and exemplar, exemplary military career. He was able to calm down during the course of our meeting and test for speech, reactions, memory, and decision-making all appear normal. Clear case of COSR. No idea what COSR is. That's the very first time I've ever seen that abbreviation. Wow. Jesus. Please don't pop up. Really? Is that it? All right. Yeah, let's see what's in here. Why not? It's a ladder. Okay, I don't want to go down yet. There's a thing over here. All right, I don't know what I expected. I guess we're going down. Come take a look. Or not. Look, down there. Is it the distributor cap? The engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? Let's find out. Shit. No more ladder. <laughs> I can drop the rest of the way. Wait. <clears throat> Are you okay? Yeah. Fine. Come on down. Oh no. Oh, this is a bad idea. Okay. How are you going to get back up now? Uh, fuck! What's up? Uh, you didn't fucking see that? Right. No. Of course you didn't. Um, hello? Yeah, I think I'm actually seeing clearly for the first time in a while. Nothing jumped out at me. So, the ship was carrying Manchurian gold. But that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. We know it was unstable and leaked all over the ship. Maybe it's still here, and it's having the same effect on us. Paranoia, hallucinations, that was what this stuff was designed to do. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something, and the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. All this crazy shit going on, none of it's real. None of it's actually there. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. It was a search and rescue plane. The whole reason it even came out here was because the people on the ship sent out a distress signal. I guess by the time the plane got here, it was too late. Everyone on the ship had lost their minds, so they shot it down. Who knows what the hell they were thinking? Or what they thought they saw? Oh, God. All right, let's get going. They, they pieced it all together, Skip. Wow. I'm impressed that they literally just spelled everything all out like that. Van Linden Engine Works. Rotterdam, Netherlands. Okay. Um, diesel engine number 1734, the year 1920, type L87C-SE. Apparently we can't interact with it. Fine. Let's go... No? Impressed with a video game? <laughs> <laughs> I'm always impressed by good video games, Skip. I think you know this. You wonder what would have happened if we went to Japan on vacation instead? Shut up. <laughs> Try not to think about it there, Alex. I feel like something's gonna jump through the wall, like Kool-Aid Man style, and try to eat my face. I just did one great big circle, didn't I? I found it. Nope. Oh, All right. Oh God! And it's working. Yep, this is it. All right. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Okay. 
Let's get back up there. We'll have to find a new way up. Of course we will. Help! You have to help us! Do you read me? Please! Please state your situation. Over. We are in danger, okay? We're in a real goddamn mess out here, and we need help now! Over. Work! Shit! Come on! Okay, that must have been the helicopter that we saw the premonition for. Oh, we're just back to this. Okay. You're always scared of your face getting eaten. Wouldn't you be? I like my face where it is. I don't want it to get eaten. Plus, it would be creepy if a panda waved to you and his face was missing. You have to admit that. <laughs> hey, look at this. The rebreather. I bet the fisherman brought it from the Duke. You think it still works? Uh, it's got maybe a few minutes of air left. Worth taking with us? Yes. It's just gonna slow us down. No! Take it. Take no. it. We should take it. Parts of the ship are completely underwater. No. Je t'en prie. No. Je t'ai dit de la fermer, sale menteur. Ferme ta gueule de merde. Tu dis n'importe quoi. Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries. Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde. Écoute. Oh, it's a stupid dagger Écoute again. Moi. Kitchen knife, whatever. Fais pas ça. Ah Je t'avais dit de fermer ta gueule. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. Oh, nice. There it is. Uh, I take it as a compliment that my face is taste. <laughs> yeah, but if your face is missing, then your beard would probably be missing too. We can't have that being affected. That's just bad. And pandas don't look good without faces, so. Oh, he's tripping balls. had it too <laughs> There's no use hiding you little foot What's the problem? Okay, we're going to have to do the heart huh? Quick time event again, aren't we? Go around more than enough and we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? Keep calm. You can't have all the gold. Seriously? That resulted in us losing the... Okay. Okay. None of you move. 
Oh my god. God changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Oh, yep, he's tripping okay. balls too. All right. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said, no changing. Please, we've got no problem with you. We just want to get out of here. Please. I'm sorry, but if you're breathing, then you don't got much of a choice in the matter. You don't got a say. Ah, not again. It's all got changing on me. What? What's changing? Stay away. Stay back from the mist. Hey, there's no mist, man. Don't breathe it. Don't breathe the mist. Um. Wait. Don't antagonize him. Mist? What does it do? He's it's talking about the uh, the life. bio weapon. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. It's inside now. Inside with us now. Please just calm down. Stop. Stop. It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down now. Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathed in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Uh, there's something in the last okay. room. Look, there was something in the last room. A, a, a fog or a mist, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? Oh, we held our breath. No! No, I, I mean, we held our breath, man. The, the mist is not inside of us. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. Yes. You're holding your breath right now. Yes. Oh, good. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? He figured it out. It's in me, isn't it? Uh, uh, I can feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me. But the inside. Oh, God. No, man. There, there's no mist inside you. I can tell. Stop. Stop lying. You can all see it in me, can't you? You're just lying. The mist is inside. You're alive. Uh. Hey, hey now, don't. Well, we tried. Oh, fucking shit. Fuck. Well, that escalated. And now we have a gun. Boom, headshot. <laughs> All right, sorry. I know I'm falling behind on chat here. Give me here. Okay, we can pause it here. Uh, let me catch up. <clears throat> you couldn't face palm without a face. It's a face palm. It would just be a palm. <laughs> I can't hurt. I can't argue with logic like that, Skip. You got me there. Sorry I didn't come sooner. I never got a notification for Twitch. Sorry, Panda. Oh, you don't have to apologize, Wendigo. You're here now, too. And we're glad to see you. How are you this evening? Wendigo, you are the fail. <laughs> Skip, you're terrible. <laughs> Boom, headshot. Yeah, how are you tonight, Wendigo? Okay, I'm going to try to push my luck a little bit more. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go the full three hours tonight, guys. My throat is drying out, and that's never a good thing. So, but we're gonna keep going a little bit longer at least. All right, so Danny's dead. Junior killed himself. Now we just got this guy. Great. That's just fucking great. 
No moist throat? No. Sadly, no. Yeah, sure. Let's just start drowning ourselves in puddles now. Why not? Mm -mm. Excuse me. And if I hadn't failed before, we would still have the rebreather. Well, this is just riveting. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Come on, guys. Where are you? Stay put. Hey. Hey, what's happening? Is everyone okay? I gotta go after him. No. We gotta go down there and make sure everything's okay. No. Shit. Well, what's our play? No. Make sure they're okay. You stay here with the radio. There has to be a better idea. Yes. I'm gonna stay as far away from trouble as I can, and I'll be back as soon as I find the generator. It'll... it'll be fine. You're gonna get stabbed in the chest. Okay. I literally have no say in this. Oh, dear God. You have no flashlight. You have no weapons. You were told to stay by the radio. I'm not dropping down here. I think there was a few. So what's this game? Oh. Don't kill the nerdy young African. <laughs> I'm trying not to kill anybody. Oh. I'm doing good playing some Legends of Aria. Trying to figure this game out. Oh. Never heard of that, so I can't help you there. Sounds interesting, though. Uh, Skip, I don't try to. I don't intend on killing anybody. So, I'm trying to save everybody I possibly can. In fact, you know what? If I had the chance, I would have made him stay up there with Fliss. Maybe they would have gotten to know each other. The other two would have made it back, and they would all reunited, and it would have been glorious. So, what's this game about? Um, surviving on a haunted hor uh, ship. That's that's basically to sum it up. Well, I'm doing a raid on Pokemon, and my teammate's name is Panda. <laughs> There's a lot of pandas out there, Skip. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <clears throat> You're doing a raid? Are you playing Pokemon Go, or is this a Sword and Shield thing? I accept no imitations. <laughs> and you shouldn't. Sword. Okay. I didn't know there was raids in those games. I'm... The only time I've ever heard the term raid thrown around was for Pokemon Go. You go to the gyms, you fight the boss with a whole, like, 20 other people. All that jazz. Stream elements, no one asked you. Four-player raids. Okay, so they're smaller-scale versions of what I guess is the same thing. They're probably Gigantamaxed or whatever it's called. And then it's, like, four versus the whatever you're fighting. It's a player-driven game. It's an MMORPG like RuneScape. The only shops are from the players. That's cool. <clears throat> so it's a player-run economy. Uh, I was never a fan of RuneScape. Um, I played it for like 30 minutes, and I, I, I couldn't. <laughs> but I know it's insanely popular. So I guess if it's anything like that... Um, they must have some good gameplay mechanics. Um, all right, here we go. Or not. This game literally gave me the ability to come all this way, and there's nothing here to see. Oh, I see stairs. Seriously, Brad, what are you thinking?
It's over this way. Okay, I guess we gotta drop down. There doesn't seem to be anything else. Panda gets wet, my AC bro Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> Even though it's a new AC unit, it still broke, so now I have to open the windows. Okay, something must be up. Because this is like the third attempt now, right? Whatever the... Find out what the brand name is on the AC units that you're getting and stay away from them as much as humanly possible. <laughs> oh, stream elements chiming in again. <clears throat> well, I mean, is the windows being open working at least? I imagine it must be cooling down at least somewhat at this point. Oh god, he's barefoot too. Okay, nothing this way. I feel like I was down this way with Fliss, actually. Oh, it's Iceman! I didn't think that would work. Good. Go, go in. I swear to God, if I make it through this, I'll never even set foot on a paddle. <laughs> I lost count of how many times it's been broke. Yes, opening the windows are helping with the cool air. That's good. I just get frustrated because um, it keeps on breaking. Maybe, uh, have you checked like the maintenance instructions and whatnot? Because um, unless the brand name is extremely poor, having it break that many times is just absurd. And it sucks that you're going through that, too, because um, there's nothing worse than when you're trying to stay comfortable and the means of which you're using won't cooperate. Oh. So, okay, so we have been here. No, we haven't. Who was that? This is somebody's... No. Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay. Let's move on. Go away, ghost Alex. No, not there yet. Let's see what this is. Internal memorandum to all field officers. The scale of our search and recovery missions across the area have yielded results far greater than expected. Unfortunately, there is now a shortage of adult caskets. If you locate the remains of any pers missing persons at the water purification plant, you may have to use the smaller caskets. Casket shortage memo. Okay. I guess it'll have to be Hawkins. Poor bastard. There's almost nothing left of him. I know this isn't ideal, guys, but they'll give him a proper funeral and the respect he deserves once we, we've got his body back home. We'll just have to make this work for now. Sounds lovely. Well, I can't get a new one because I live in an apartment complex, so tomorrow <clears throat> when I get to see my landlord, I'm going to tell her about it. I feel like the main office is going to get mad because this keeps on happening. Yeah, um, unfortunately, I, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but I have a feeling that you're right there on that front. Most don't even want to be fixing those types of things anyways the first time around, so. Oh, it's a body. I really 
It's okay, Brad. I hope I'm wrong, though. I hope things kind of turn out good. And that you're able to get it looked at pretty quickly. Do you actually have a plan of action here? I feel like Alex is going to end up saving you. Oh, God. Tamer boy. Stay back. I mean it. Okay. Hey, just relax. We just want to get out of here. Nobody's got to get hurt. Uh, back off. Whoa, relax. Nobody's coming after you. Easy, easy. We can figure something out. Hey, I really don't think that's the best idea. Uh oh. Uh oh. Tell me I didn't just get Brad. Wow, he just fell over. Oh. That was a pretty good jump, wow. Is that the cap he's got in his hand? Looks like it. Yep. Distributor cap. Nice. Oh, I almost failed that. Come on, guys. No! Oh, thank God. Get out of there! Come on! Oh, God. Wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Taking the big giant sledgehammer. No. Run. Now. Now. Oh, jeez. Okay. Go, oh, go, go. Oh, that's not what you want to... Oh, God. That's not how you want to go. <laughs> Yes. I agree. Why are you getting closer to the half body? Oh, distributed cap, that's why. Okay. Let's get out of here. Seriously, where's Alex? Please don't pick up the hammer. Okay.
we're gonna get the segue here. And that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> seem to have frozen in place here with our loading. Come on, game. You can do it. I have faith in you. losing my faith in you. <laughs> All right. Well, this might be a good time to call it quits anyways. I was thinking about cutting it soon. How's Tang doing? Uh, he's finally settled down. He was kind of being crazy uh, earlier in the evening, but now he's just kind of chilling out. <laughs> I don't know if you heard him there. Oh, it's a good kitty. How's Nikki doing? Crazy panda cat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you weren't here either, Skip. I forgot. Um, yeah, no, he was literally going, like... I don't know. He must have... There must have been a toy or something that he must have been playing around with that I was just didn't see. But he was running around all over the place, meowing at stuff and running into the, in the room, out of the room. It was, it was kind of funny. <laughs> She's doing good. She's in bed right now. All right, well, that's good to hear. That nah, she's doing well. Yeah, I guess we're frozen. So I guess we're gonna call it here. Um, and with any luck, we'll load properly next time we stream. Uh, there's not a lot of people, but wow, frozen game. It's like New Vegas. It's stuck on the loading screen. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't give up. Um, well, we can quickly raid Jelly Queen Jelly Bean. <laughs> I think um, I didn't mess with any of the odds. I don't know why, but people seem to be winning less now. Maybe I need to go look into look into a. I cannot talk. I need to go in to stream elements and take a look at it. Because I haven't seen much winnings in a while. Alright, so how do you guys feel about writing Queen Jelly Bean? Does that sound like a good idea to y'all? Sounds good? All right, perfect. Let me just get it going here. This is my first raid since the new year started, so bear with me as I fail at this. Looks right, all right. Bam. It's working, awesome. All right. So hopefully I, my health will continue to improve, which means by Sunday I will be close to fully recovered and I won't have to mute myself because of constant coughing. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight, putting up with my cold shenanigans. Um, yeah, sorry that you had to watch um, the game get stuck. <laughs> It's funny because it's still trying. If you take a look in the lower right-hand corner, it is still trying to load. It's just failing. <laughs> but all right. Have a wonderful evening, guys. And it should kick in here anytime.
Any time now. <clears throat> I can't wait until I get my PC. I can do this manually. <laughs> Which is coming, by the way, guys. It won't be much longer, but you will start seeing some uh, changes to the stream once uh, the PC has been acquired. So, there we go. All right, for anyone left, thank you for being here. I will be back on Sunday. Till then, take care.